I think as the parent, it's your job to actually be more of the adult in any situation with your kids. You are forever their parent, forever. So the conversation still hasn't happened. There's still nothing. He does have somewhat of a relationship with Garrison right now, a little bit, but there's no reconciliation really. His communication has become very, a lot of reference to, you can't talk about Robin, she's the one that's loyal to me. I don't want Robin to see this or be exposed to this. So I had one of my children complaining that I was always at one wife's house. And whose house was that? Oh, it was Robin. Robin's the blame for everything. There was a shift of blame towards Robin that got to the point where it was making me so angry that I was getting to the point where if you had a complaint about her, I'd be like, shut up. I Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Wednesday, March 27th, 2024, and I hope everyone is having a great day. Yesterday, we shared photographs from Garrison's memorial that was held in Clark County for his service with the National Guard and photographs that were shared by the National Guard, the Nevada National Guard on Facebook showed that the family was given a military service and it was the seating arrangement that had a lot of people caught off guard. The reason the seating arrangement caught people off guard was less to do with Cody, but the fact that Robin was sitting front and center at his funeral, knowing that Garrison didn't like Robin. Robin, who is married to Cody, likely felt that it was her place to sit up front, but Robin, over the past several years, had spent many, much of her time on Sister Wives, calling Garrison and Gabriel unsafe and putting barriers between Cody and his boys and making it so that the boys need to apologize to Robin. All of this stemmed from a conversation that Garrison had had according to Sister Wives television show. Now, we don't know what happened in the real world, and Garrison had called Cody and said, listen, I'm done with you. I'm aware that you're just with Robin. See you and have a nice life. And Cody called her him a narcissist. And he basically just said that Cody was choosing Robin over the kids, told him everything that he had been feeling. And Cody called Garrison a narcissist, told Garrison that he was wrong. And then since then, there was this huge problem between Garrison and Cody and Garrison was very clear that he wanted nothing to do with Robin anymore. Well, on the tell-all, a lot of this got addressed because they started talking about the issues that the kids were having. So a lot of you noticed that the older children were not at the funeral, and that has to do with their relationship with the children of the family and how they had cut off contact with their siblings and had accused them of basically ruining their lives and they were never going to get married and they were never going to have their own families because of how badly they had been treated by the Brown siblings and in the Brown family. What had happened was I was being told that the kids hated me. In the text thread? No, before that, that I was being told that the kids hate me and my kids. Who was telling you that? Mm, a person. Cody was telling Robin that the kids hated her and the other kids. Cody is a narcissist and he was pitting Robin and the kids against the other kids. But the kids didn't like the way that Robin was manipulating situations and also being a narcissist herself in pitting family members against family members, pitting her kids against their kids. And Robin chose to believe what other people told her rather than actually developing relationships with the kids. And Robin took it very personally that she wasn't liked and that they had the audacity to tell her no. Robin took them saying no to a video call as a complete disrespect to her. And so what she did was threw a hissy fit at them and accused the kids of causing trauma in her life, not accepting her, treating her so terribly. And then her kids, got involved in this 
fight as well, making accusations that were horrific to these kids. And the only reason this happened was because the kids said we couldn't do a video chat. One of Robin's last conversations with these kids and with Garrison was telling them she wanted nothing to do with them. So the fact that she is sitting on the front row angers people. Um, and then it blew up into this whole thing about, well, you've always treated us so badly. I'm so tired of, of uh, working on this. And I've always been treated so badly. And we were like, wow, wow, just wow. I mean, Who said that? That was, was that? Robin. Oh, Robin said Robin that. was like, you guys have treated me so badly. I'm so tired. I don't want to work on this anymore. And then all of a sudden, our kids started piling in with these really things like, you treated us so horribly. We're never going to want to have our own families because this was such a horrible experience. And I'm like, whoa. And then after yelling at the kids and accusing them of causing her trauma and being mean to her and never accepting her and treating her terribly, because remember, this text thread wasn't with the adults. It wasn't between Robin and the sister wives. It was between Robin and the kids. She was telling the kids that they never treated her well and never accepted her and that she was tired of it and she wasn't going to try anymore. And instead of then telling them we weren't going to be part of the gift exchange, she literally sent McKelty to do her work for her. So she said had she had McKelty tell the siblings that Robin and the kids were not going to do any more Christmas gift exchanges with them and that Robin wasn't going to talk to the kids anymore and that Robin and the kids' relationship was basically over. And the kids were left devastated because at that point, Robin cut contact off between her kids and the other kids because of a slight that she felt with the kids, because of a paranoia she had about the kids. Robin walked into this whole entire family as a grown ass woman and blamed children who were minors for causing her trauma. She was a grown 30 year old woman and she went into a situation where there was 13 kids, three women and a lot of money that they didn't have, hungry children that weren't getting the proper nutrition that lived in poverty and she walked into this family and expected everyone to change for her. And then when the kids don't wanna do one thing for her, she spirals out of control. She gets her kids to spiral out of control and they cut contact. To this day, she did not have a relationship with Garrison or any of these other kids, zero. Zero relationship between Robin and the kids. Zero. My kids came to me and they said, we don't feel emotionally safe to be a part of this. After that, Robin just said, Dad and I have decided we're not, our kids aren't going to do the gift exchange anymore and we're not going to do it. And they were devastated. And they were like, what does that mean? I thought those were our siblings. There's not a division with Robin and her kids. There is now. There is now because she put it there. The Tell All was filmed in the fall of 2023. And leading up to Garrison's death, McKelty was over on her Patreon and had been asked numerous times about the status of the relationship between the siblings, Dayton, Aurora, and Brianna, and their other siblings. And McKelty had said that at one point she had asked Dayton about possibly speaking to the siblings, and he refused, like defiantly refused, refused. So... Apparently, at the time of his death, Robin and the kids were still and had not been on speaking terms with the kids, and it had been years. The fight over the gift exchange was for Christmas 2021. They had a whole Christmas in 2021 where they didn't see them. They had a whole Christmas in 2022 where they didn't see them, and they had a whole Christmas in 2023 where they didn't see them. In fact, Janelle and her kids were in North Carolina. So Robin was so estranged from these kids that she had likely not seen them beyond being in the same room for maybe Gwendolyn's wedding. That's it. And maybe Gwendolyn's bridal engagement party, but that's it. And according to Gwendolyn at the wedding, no one really even interacted with Robin and Cody. They just kind of sat off on the side and were with McKelty's kids. And nobody spoke to them. And Robin's kids did not go to Gwendolyn's wedding. So they're not at Gwendolyn's wedding. They're not at Christine's wedding. They would have been invited, but they didn't go. And Robin and the kids continued their estrangement. 
and Robin and the kids continued to make it so that these kids were the bullies. These kids were the evil ones. And Cody, on the same tell-all, had the audacity to say that if anyone in his family, and namely, we know we are t who he's talking about, he's talking about Garrison and Gabriel, that if they say anything negative about Robin, he would punch them in the face. So Cody's Tell All is filmed in the fall of 2023, and he is literally threatening physical assault against his sons. He is calling his sons bullies. He is calling his children bullies. He calls his kids jerks. Robin accuses the kids of trauma. At the time of Garrison's death, there was no reconciliation between Cody and Garrison. There was no reconciliation between Robin and Garrison. And so Robin, sitting in the front row, as though she's some sort of mom, is kind of insulting to anyone that knew how she treated Garrison or anyone that knew the, the havoc that she created in Garrison's life. Because what woman walks into a whole ass family that has 13 kids and takes the family by the reins and changes the entire dynamic of the family and makes demands of what the family can and can't do and makes demands for how they act and how they not act and, and moves them constantly. They move to Vegas because of Robin. They move to Flagstaff because of Robin. She uproots the family from all of their resources. She gets her kids adopted, takes, takes away resources from the other children. Cody starts spending less time with everyone because frankly, he doesn't want to be around the other wives anymore. And so the children that had been used to seeing Cody, maybe not as much as they had wanted to, but at least got to see him, never saw him. And Cody stopped caring and Cody started looking at his children, specifically the boys, as competition. Cody didn't like the boys calling Robin. He, in fact, in one episode in season, I think, 16, got really angry at Garrison for calling Robin. Like, really angry. And if you recall, I told you about how a friend of Robin's had contacted me and said that she... Her husband had to call and speak to Robin one day, and when Cody found out that another man was speaking to Robin, he lost his ever-loving mind and screamed and yelled, not at, only at Robin, but at everyone else in the room, and then yelled at the man for calling Robin. Cody's anger at his boys isn't about not just obedience. It's that Cody is so insecure about his own manhood and he's so insecure that Robin's going to leave him that his own children his own sons are viewed as competition as though they're going to try to take Robin from him and he doesn't view them as children to Robin in fact on the tell-all he said he needed to protect Robin from them he needed to pr protect the kids he had with Robin from his other children because his other children were dangerous so the kids are not at the funeral probably because they don't want to have anything to do with the funeral because they're estranged from him. And if they went to the funeral in Flagstaff, they probably went there unwillingly and because they had to look obligatory. Now you have Cody and Robin at a funeral playing the victim and having these sad faces. But if you look at their faces, there are no tears. Everyone else in the family is crying and Cody and Robin are not. And so when people have the audacity to leave comments on my channel after the amount of time I've spent covering this family and the abuse that Cody has inflicted on this family to say that we are supposed to have sympathy for Cody for what he's going through? No, I'm sorry, but I don't have sympathy for Cody. Cody has a million regrets right now, I'm sure, but he has only himself to blame. And he inflicted so much pain onto his children. And he said so many disparaging things about them. And he was so cruel to them that the reason why he's not crying is because he has no tears at all. He's like dead inside or he doesn't view these children as children. He and Robin cut them off and moved on. And then on the day that he dies, suddenly now he's going to show up? Now he's going to show up for Garrison because he's dead? Think about that. What kind of message does that send? He couldn't show up for Garrison when he was alive. He called Garrison a jerk, a narcissist, a bully. 
He threatened to punch Garrison in the mouth. He told Garrison that he just wanted to go get his pencil wet. That's why he didn't want to abide by his rules. He wouldn't listen to the pain that Garrison had gone through as a child and, and the rejection that he felt. Instead, he put it on Garrison. So yes, people have a right to feel outrage. And yes, it's hypocritical for those two to be sitting in the front row because Cody was nothing more than a sperm donor. He wasn't a father. He wasn't a friend. He was a man that abused his children. And Robin was not a stepmother. She wasn't even a mother. She wasn't a friend. She was someone that came into a family. She and Cody wanted to be together and they made everyone else bow down to them and treat them superior. She came in, she had to be the top wife. She came in, she needed to set the tone, set the rules, take the resources. While Janelle struggled to found, find housing and Cody made no priorities for her care, Robin got a house, Robin got cars, Robin got jewelry, Robin got a house filled with art and trinkets. And Janelle, to this day, still doesn't own a house. Janelle's boys were not angry with Cody about COVID. They were angry at the disparities between how he treated Robin and how he treated Janelle and how he treated the kids with Robin and how he treated them. He was a terrible father to them. And they had a right to express that to him and he took that personally and then turned them into the villains. Cody's blank stare is because Cody has no feelings and is devoid of emotion and that's my opinion. And so for anyone that is outraged by their hypocrisy and their audacity to sit in the front row, you have a right to feel that way. Because anyone that has knows anything about Garrison and knew anything about this family knows that those two caused so much pain to that boy and he wanted nothing to do with them. And so they have a lot of nerve to sit in the front row. And I'm confident that the boys Hunter and Gabriel and Logan sat around Janelle and not by their dad because I'm pretty sure they were protecting Janelle and making sure that no fights would happen. And I'm confident that at some point, if there is going to be some sort of alt like confrontation, it's going to be physical. All right, you guys. So I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Make sure to leave a comment with something if you have something to say. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed. Bye guys.